Seated in the auditorium today are family and friends who have, in many different ways, supported these candidates to reach the goal represented by this ceremony. And on the platform are the college faculty and staff who've motivated, encouraged, and inspired these students as they completed their coursework and their college experience. And before us are the candidates for graduation, who've become good friends, mentors, and colleagues, developing relationships that will serve them well as they move into the future together. We join then as members of an extended support network to celebrate our involvement with these candidates and to witness their accomplishment. And that celebration now begins. Presiding over the December commencement ceremony is the president of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, Dr. Davy Jane Gilmore. Good morning, everyone. Listen, after what we drove through to get here, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you. On behalf of the Pennsylvania College of Technology administration, faculty, and staff, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the Community Arts Center this morning and our commencement ceremonies for the fall class of 2016. I look out into this theater filled with so many smiles, and we know during this time of year, my remarks say encroaching winter, so I'm just gonna say during winter. We keep our graduates and our families often Sometimes the weather keeps graduates and families from attending commencement. However, you are here today and we're here today for this very special event, and I want to thank you for joining us. This is one of my most favorite events as a college president. We celebrate all that's right in the world on a day like today, all the tomorrows that stretch before us and before these young women and men as they turn their hard work and talent into an enriching and inspiring career. That ever-changing world can indeed be a frightening and depressing place. This past year has brought near daily news of tragedy and turmoil within our cities and across the globe. But this institution, now more than 100 years strong, has historically provided the solid foundation for success and stability and an incredible weapon against fear and insecurity, wherever they arise across the nation. So today, we gather, and we do so in happiness and solidarity, united by pride and by purpose, to launch this class of 2016 into the open seas of a boundless future, not just in fair weather, but every day. These students need to know that your accomplishments are important to all of us because you are important to all of us. You have touched our lives and the lives of one another in ways that none of us may yet fully appreciate. Please know that your Penn College family joins you and your other relatives in rejoicing with your achievement. You are now part of a proud and comparably rare legacy, the Society of Educated Women and Men, who will find that degrees that work can open doors deliver opportunities, and bless you with security. Most importantly, in addition, to give you respect and an opportunity for happiness. We look forward to the contributions that you will make in the days and years to come, and the future begins now. I invite you to sit back, get comfortable in these beautiful surroundings, and savor the joys of the season, and of course, this most memorable occasion. Welcome to the commencement for fall 2016. Now, this is when most people would say, turn your phones off, make them be silent. There's decorum for today's event. This, however, is a college of technology. So I'm going to say, please turn your phones on. You could mute the ringers if you want. That would help us. But this is a time when we want you to capture what happens today through whatever social media context you'd like. We're going to do that all during the ceremony and you are welcome to join us. So with those phones on, I'm going to be the first to take a picture <laughs> of the graduating class. <laughs> Hashtag PCT grad, we'd like to see memories about today and find out what's going on. So enjoy the ceremony.
I'd now like to introduce Elliot Strickland, Chief Student Affairs Officer. President Gilmore, Senator Yaw, Provost Starkey, distinguished faculty and staff, family, friends, and most importantly, the December 2016 graduating class. It is my great pleasure this morning to introduce your student commencement speaker. Caleb Cartmel has done more in his two years at Penn College than most students complete in four years at other colleges and universities. Caleb came to Penn College in the fall of 2014 after being homeschooled, graduating with honors from Pennsylvania Leadership Charter School. A Dean's List student, Caleb is incredibly active with the Student Government Association and the Penn College Motorsports Association. In PCMA, he has served as treasurer and vice president. In student government, Caleb was elected as a senator for the School of, Tr of Transportation and Natural Resources Technologies and currently holds the executive vice president role. This past summer, Caleb helped orient our entire freshman class through connections where he served as a link, our summer orientation leaders. Caleb graduates today with an Associate of Applied Science in Automotive Technology with honors and will return to campus in January to complete his Bachelor of Science in Automotive Technology Management. It gives me great pleasure to introduce your 2016 student commencement speaker, Mr. Caleb Cartmel. I would first like to thank Mr. Elliot Strickland for that great introduction. It is a great honor to be chosen as the student speaker for today. I want to thank all of my friends and family, God, PCT, faculty, staff, and administrators that have supported me through my time here. I would also like to welcome all members of the Penn College community, other esteemed guests, friends and family, and especially the class of December 2016. Some of you may or may not know me as the guy that broke both of his arms fall semester of 2014. That's right, both of them. And in the same place, radio head fractures on both sides. I fell off of my bike. No, not that kind of bike, my bicycle. <laughs> Some of you probably saw pictures on the phone app called Fade, if you remember that. My roommates made sure there was no lack of pictures of the guy with two broken arms trying to eat at Capital Eatery. Um, <clears throat> that semester I was taking Math 180. I'm sure most of you who took that class remember it very well. My mom asked if I wanted to come home and I said, no way, I'm not starting this class over. I'm gonna finish it. I walked into my 8 a.m. electrical class the next morning and uh, sporting two splints and two arm slings. After a lot of laughs and hearing some questions that I've heard probably a hundred times, we determined that I would have to drop out of automotive until I healed. I was worried how this was going to affect me. Would I be able to finish my degree on time? Will they let me stay on campus? Over the next week, I spent my time going from office to office at Penn College. Registrars, bursars, residence life, the school office, disability services, faculty offices, you name it, I had to go through the automatic doors to get there. Much to my relief, each time I went to an office, I was greeted with genuine people ready to help me. Everyone I dealt with was very quick to offer their help and try to make my life a little easier. Some people asked me, why not just drop out for a semester? Or said things like, there's no way I would still be here with two broken arms. Well, I believe that I could survive the semester, even with two broken arms, and I did. As cliche as it sounds, you really can do just about anything when you put your mind to it. I don't recommend that any of you ever break both of your arms. But remember, especially when you think there's something that you can't do, Remember that you survived college. You made it through all of the tests, all of the late night studying, all of the finals, all of the papers, and you are sitting here today graduating. One of the most helpful instructors I've had at Penn College has been Mr. Chris Van Staveren, head of the automotive department. He's been my advisor and also has taught me a few classes. Whenever I've asked him for help with something, his answer has almost always been, anything for you. While he's clearly being sarcastic, he has always followed through helping me and other students out. He's gone above and beyond for me more than once, and there are many other people at Penn College that regularly do the same. 
We should all be very proud to be graduating from a school where we truly aren't just another number, but a student who's worth teaching, that can learn, become skilled, and make a difference. My English 201 teacher, Dr. John Rushka, spent his last day of class giving a speech to us about life. I don't remember the whole speech, just like you won't remember this entire speech. But one of the things that he said that has really stuck with me is something that I would like to pass on to you today. Be a contributing member of society. Most of us that are graduating will hit the ground running. Jobs are lined up, apartments will be rented, houses bought, and a new chapter of our lives will begin. When you start that new job, continue from that internship, move into that new place, remember that it's up to you to make the world around you a better pay place. Pick up that trash out on the street, help that person change their flat tire, greet that new neighbor, smile at the checkout clerk. It's the little things that make the biggest difference and you have the power to make that difference every single day. Contributing to society may look a lot different for each one of you and I'm sure you can all think of completely different ways to do it. According to National Student Clearinghouse, only 55% of students that started a degree in 2008 finished in six years. You are that 55%. According to census results, around 40% of students, of people in the United States have a college degree. You are now part of that 40%. According to the Huffington Post, 7%, just 7% of the world's population hold a college degree. You are now a part of that 7%. Be the person that makes the difference, no matter how small, and always remember your proud Penn College days. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, as many of you know, the legal corporate body of the Pennsylvania College of Technology is its board of directors. That's the body that, by our charter, is given the final responsibility for the governance, welfare, and all other interests pertaining to the college. Though some responsibilities are delegated, ultimate authority rests with the board. At this time, I would like to call upon Senator Gene Yaw, Chair of the Board of Directors, to authorize the conferring of degrees at this ceremony. Senator Yaw. This is a very special occasion for all of you. The degrees being awarded have come from hard work, from the guidance and wisdom of the faculty, and from the strong support from your family and friends. On behalf of the Board of Directors, I extend to all the graduates our congratulations and best wishes. And to all the supporting family members, the faculty, and friends, I extend our thanks for your support. Now. I turn to my official duty, Dr. Gilmore. By virtue of the authority vested in the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I authorize you on behalf of the Board to confer on each of these candidates the degree earned as certified by the appropriate school dean. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science degree please rise? Dr. Gilmore, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I'm pleased to inform you that these women and men have satisfactorily completed the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I do hereby confer upon you the Bachelor of Science degrees that you have earned with all of their rights and privileges, and with congratulations from the Board of Directors, the administration, and the faculty. Congratulations. You may be seated. Will the candidates for all associate degrees and certificates please rise? Dr. Gilmore, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I'm pleased to inform you that these men and women have satisfactorily completed the requirements for their respective associate degrees and certificates. Thank you. 
by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors of the Pennsylvania College of Technology, I do hereby confer upon you the associate degrees and certificates that you have earned with all of their rights and privileges and with congratulations from the Board of Directors, the administration, and the faculty. Congratulations. Would you please remain standing? And would the baccalaureate graduates please rise? And Caleb, would you join me over here? Would all candidates rise? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you entered this theater some time ago as candidates for the certificates and degrees that you have now earned. Just moments ago, it was my honor to confer those degrees upon you as a symbol of your entry into the world of educated women and men, I ask you to join me as I turn the tassel of your class representative. This symbolizes to the world that you are now graduates of the Pennsylvania College of Technology. Congratulations. <laughs> You may be seated. As individuals and institutions, we all pass through clear stages of development, points in time when we grow in new roles and new responsibilities. This ceremony is a transition event for all graduates. Today, the Pennsylvania College of Technology will recognize individuals with academic honors. Outstanding academic achievement will be recognized for all students. Gold, silver, or white tassels, cords will, they will wear during these ceremonies will identify them for you. White for honors, silver for high honors, and gold for highest honors will identify these students. Blue cords will sig signify academic achievement for certificate students. And in addition, we are proud to recognize the members of Phi Theta Kappa, their gold stoles and gold tassels will help you identify them. And we are also proud to recognize the graduates of the Alpha Chi Honor Society. White stoles will identify these students. We would now like to recognize our veteran students, identified by the red, white, and blue cords. We are asking students here today in the graduating class, if you are graduating and you have served active duty, as well as currently serving in any branch of the military, would you please rise? If you stay standing, I'd like to tell everyone here today a little bit about our veteran students. We have two students here who have been the recipient of the Purple Heart. Two Bronze Star, 31 Iraq Campaign Medals, and 38 Afghanistan Campaign Medals. We are very proud of our veterans. You may be seated. You know, one of the best parts of commencement are the wonderful stories that we hear from graduates and their family members. And there's really nothing more satisfying than hearing about all that you've experienced and that all that you have accomplished. And many times we hear about what you're planning to do, and that's equally as exciting. Through your stories, we learn about strength and success of our students and therefore the strength and success of Penn College. I'd like to take a minute to share one of our success stories with you. And it all started on a Facebook post that read, and I quote, Mama and I petitioned to graduate today. It's such a special moment for me because I wouldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for her. And now that we get to experience this together, I wouldn't have it any other way, end quote. Graduating today are the mother-daughter team of Lori Pepperman and Marissa Ray. Most mothers and daughters, yes, congratulations. Most mothers and daughters can say they spend a lot of time together and experienced a lot of things together. But I bet they can't do what Lori and Marissa have done. They took their senior capstone course together they were Wednesday night study partners, 
and today they will walk across the stage at their college graduation together for that ceremony as well. Lori is graduating with her Bachelor of Science degree in Management and Marissa her Bachelor of Science degree in Business Management. Lori and Marissa, we congratulate you and wish you a well-deserved celebration with your parents, your grandparents, your siblings, and other family members who have traveled here today. I'm going to invite you to stand and be recognized for your example of outstanding support and perseverance that you've demonstrated on your journey to earn your degrees together. At this time, Dr. Carolyn Strickland, Vice President for Enrollment Management and Associate Provost, and the respective school representatives will present the candidates for graduation. Now, this is a time when you all want to capture this moment on whatever device you have brought with you. And we know that, so we're going to just simply ask you to keep the area in front of the official photographer open. Otherwise, you're welcome to come down front at the appropriate time. And with that, our presentation of diplomas will begin. Thank you. President Gilmore, I present the graduates from the School of Business and Hospitality. Jacqueline C. Gregg. Christopher Scott Kassler. Cassandra S. Sellinger. Amanda Rose DePuzo. <laughs> Stephanie Francine Everson. <laughs> Laura M. Ferrand. <laughs> Rebecca Marie Oakes. <laughs> Kayla Marie Peters. Casey Marie Powell. China M. Profeta. Lauren A. Stamen. Samantha Diane Hill. Emily Catherine Helmus. Nathan Daniel Strauss. Jordan P. Way. Brittany D. McHugh. Aaron D. Lachat. Our mother daughter team of Lori Elaine Pepperman and Marissa, Marissa Eileen Ray. Jamas B. Hamilton. <laughs> Elizabeth R. Hill. Heather M. Bakley. 
Jennifer Lynn Matthews. Ryan Matthew Strickland. Maria Noel Caruso. Rachel Renee Miller. President Gilmore, I present the graduates from the School of Construction and Design Technologies. Michael V. DiMartino. Ryan T. Getley. Charles M. Stanky the Fourth. Dustin James Onifree. Brandon T. Kearney. Joshua M. Kalinich. Dexter G. Smith. Joshua Adam Fellon. Jonathan J. Kofsky. Jason Q. Lucas. Shane T. Maitland. Garrett L. Woodring. President Gilmore, I'm pleased to present the graduates from the School of Health Sciences. Katie Lynn Engel. Nicolette Marie Petronani. Holly Elizabeth Steyer. Sylvia Brian Beitelsbach. Hunter Mackenzie Button. Roberto Delgado. Ashley Nicole Edmiston. Colby Wren Haas. Elizabeth A. Laniger. Christina May McCall. Caitlin Elizabeth McGowan. Kylie Beth Temple. Danielle N. Young. Kelly S. Tyler. Alicia Ann Brandt. Kristen K. Briner. Abby Catherine Bush. Chesnia Yuana Cherilis. Neil A. Ebert III. Monica Ashley Flexer. Emily Beth Frymoyer. Chad Ryan Geiswhite. Alexandra Renee Harriman.
Jocelyn Marie Heichel. Courtney Danielle Castor. Sarah Elizabeth King. Brianna Mary Latovich. Stephanie Jean Lorson. Kelsey Joe Manival. Alexa Ann Miller. Christina M. Mossman. Kelsey Aileen Murray. Ashley Morgan Otto. Carissa Lee Pearson. Stephen D. Robinette. Danielle M. Schreibmeyer. Casey Ray Smith. Tiffany May Snyder. Alexandra Elizabeth Winther. President Gilmore, I present the graduates for the School of Industrial Computing and Engineering Technology. Joseph M. Eck. Jeremy W. Rennix. Third. Don't bother with her. Eugene R. Markowski. Knaus. Thank you. Curtis L. Knaus. <laughs> Stephen A. Eck. Matthew John Stengline. 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 Thank you. Matthew John Stengline. Kevin E. Bowersox. Eberhardt. Eberhardt. Jason A. Eberhardt. Jesse Coleman Hulian. Jesse Coleman Hulian. Ashley Ellen Hughes Mahaffey. Colin J. Mickelson. Scott Juan Valido. Valido. Scott Juan Valido. Brewer. Eric Lee Brewer. Dane Michael Cessna. Dane Michael Cessna. Robert Paul DeRazio. DeRazio. Yes. Robert Paul DeRazio. Herman H. Mendez. Matthew Michael Burnick. Schroyer? Yes. Thank you. Chet A. Schroyer, Jr. Heinball. Derek N. Heinball. Ali S. Alcazar. Alcazar. Thank you. Ali S. Alcazar. Adrian Mundo. Archie Downey the Fourth. Yeah, hold down, please. Pardon? Archie S. Downey the Fourth. Archie S. Downey the Fourth. Norman C. Sabin Jr. Nathan M. Eckstein. Jason Anthony Gillett. 
Jason Anthony Gillot. Christopher D. Gramling. Cody Allen Hertansky. Michael Andrew Johnson. Tyler D. McCoy. Robert William Myers. Nathan Daniel Sharkey. David M. Belzer. Joshua P. Bull. Benjamin Robert Cleary. John Delavan Essenwine. Evan Scott Jones. Zachary James Plank. Justin Charles Zetwick. Fahad A. Halhajri. Muhammad Sherman. Oh, just Muhammad Al Sheri. Muhammad Al Sheri. Raid Al Zarani. Got it. Okay, I'll wait. Raid Al Zarani. Raid Al Zarani. Alexander M. Mercavage. Taylor John Smith. Brady Brett Taylor. Sean T. Zettelmoyer. Corey J. Clark. Robert C. Gervin. Mark Aaron Jackson. David Manikuski, thanks. David Allen Manikuski. Luke David McFalls. Mackenzie M. Miller. I need your name. Alex Miller. Alex. Alexander James Miller. Alexander James Miller. <laughs> Colt Dalton Robbins. Auburn Ian Severin. Auburn Ian Severin. Auburn Ian Severin. Erica Lynn Stripmatter. Nathan T. Tate McCann. Nathan M. Tate McCann. Jonathan Russ Bartley. Jonathan Russ Bartley. Bryce Andrew Binkley. President Gilmore, I present the graduates from the School of Science, Humanities, and Visual Communications. Carrie A. Myers. Blair Marie Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. Blair Marie Pfeiffer. Corbin Patrick Snyder. Natalie Joy Krupenbacher. Talia, Talia, Talia Ann Paris. Marquise, 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 Marquise,
Marquise Malone Delgado. Darlene S. Phillips. President Gilmore, I present the graduates from the School of Transportation and Natural Resources Technologies. Colton James Dietz. Silhouette Cow Pajit. Adrian Ian Matthews. Nathan W. Mitchell. Christopher Anthony Niski. Nicholas J. Bonanno. Zach Taylor Rankin. Krishna Mohan Yadav. Krishna Mohan Yadav. Krishna Mohan Yadav. Mm -hmm. Mitchell M. Parmalee. Alexander Charles Rosen. Conboy. Brandon Patrick Conboy. Gunnar W. Detra. Chad J. Johnson. Justin Justice. Ryan J. O'Boyle. Bryce J. Smithmeyer. Austin Nathaniel Stoops. Zachary John Van Winkle. Ryan D. Watts. Joshua Raymond Getz. Cole Ryder Stackhouse. Brandon Allen Vinziano. Bronson James Kunz. Dalton Robert Litzelman. Vincent Michael Pelleccia. Kyle Nathaniel Johnson. Madeline Marie Perkins. And Caleb Earl Cartmel. Caleb, come back. <laughs> Thank you, Caleb. And now you know why it's one of my favorite days of the year. Your connection to Penn College does not end today. You are now members of the Penn College Alumni Association, and that's the link between you and your alma mater. I encourage you to keep in, in contact with the Alumni Relations Office. You'll hear from that office monthly, being the alumni e-news, as well as on Facebook. We really look forward to welcoming you back on campus and hearing about your success and what you've done with the degree that works that you leave here with today. In a few months, you're going to get a graduate survey. That survey is really important to us to know how you're doing, your employment status, what you're doing, so we can keep track of how successful our graduates are. So I would encourage you to complete that survey when you get it. Now, I know everybody's ready to go to lunch, 
I'd like the record to show it's 12 o'clock. That's a little inside joke. Um, but I have the privilege of being able to talk to you, the graduates, for the last time today. So for the next two minutes, and I promise it won't be longer than that, I'd like to pretend that there's nobody else here but you and I, the graduates. I used to take a speech that was written for me or I would write at the closing ceremony of every graduation. I started to add up the number of graduations I've done, and since 1977, I've been at Penn College, and to be perfectly honest with you, I needed more pencil and paper than I had time for. But a few years ago, somebody walked across the stage and it struck me, and I threw away those prepared remarks and decided to speak from my heart and my head. Chairman Yaw said it was the best speech I ever gave, so I thought it was pretty good advice. I should try that again. So earlier this week, I had lunch with a very dear friend, and she told me a story, and it's been inspiring me ever since, and therefore it's going to inspire the remarks I share with you today. She was in Disney World a few days ago, and she was in Epcot Center doing the candlelight tour, something I've never done, but I've heard about. It happens at the holiday time. Meredith Vieira was the narrator that night. And you walk from country to country and there's beautiful holiday music and there's a story told as you walk through the Epcot Center. And after the third country, the microphone stopped. Now this is Disney, that doesn't happen very much. So the singer behind Meredith Vieira handed them her microphone. And the microphone also didn't work. Now you, those of you who in business and other schools have studied Biz Disney enough to know that that's a real serious issue down there. So there was this awkward silence while they announced, please pause while we fix this technical difficulty and we'll get back to you. So there are about 200 people in the crowd and there's a little bit of rumbling and it's this awkwardness of this is Disney, this isn't supposed to happen and what do we do? When a few people back from her in the crowd, a man stood up. He was not a Disney employee. He was just in the crowd for the candlelight walk. He stood up and in a beautiful baritone voice began singing Silent Night. And in a few seconds, the entire crowd started to come together and sang the song Silent Night. Now that could have been a really awkward moment there could have been grumbling and complaining, words I wouldn't use from the podium, people unhappy that their special moment had been interrupted. But instead, this man took a chance, and he did something to bring that group of people together. And as the producer and Meredith Vieira and the other singers turned around, they were in awe of what a simple human being had done. So my challenge to the graduates today is I want you to be that person who stands up. It may not be on the candlelight tour in Epcot Center, but it may be in a crowded room, it may be on a street corner, it may be in your place of work, it may be in your community, but as a Penn College graduate, you're equipped to be the person to stand up and calm the storm, create a new idea, or make something special. That's what we think about all of you, and that's why we believe in what you're doing. So as you go out in the world today, I have two pieces of advice. One extremely practical, please be careful driving home. <laughs> and, one, uh, and one that I really believe from my heart, please be the man to stand up and make us Penn College proud. Thank you. I invite those who are able to stand. Gentlemen, remove your caps. And for everyone to join in singing the Penn College alma mater. The words for the alma mater may be found on page two of your program. <laughs> 